that is another EG. That's uh, what's interesting to this EG is that e this EG is uh, recording uh, one of her regular seizures. Very mild, um, very milder than uh, her regular seizure, but in this seizure, um, it's catch on EEG and uh, we can see uh, from where is beginning the seizure. That is the, perf the first page. Uh, the montage here is the different. There is a uh, uh, longitudinal transdiesel montage. Uh, so we again, the equal numbers is the right side of the brain. Uh, odd numbers is the left side of the brain and uh, the Z, CZ, FZ, PZ uh, is um, the central midline of the electrodes. So, that's the beginning of the electroencephalographic seizure. Why I said electroencephalographic? That's the start of the ictal changes. So, uh, there is uh, nothing that the child do during the, this page of the EEG. This just the brain waves are changing. So, you can see in left temporal region, you can see a spike and slow wave one after another is starts in one two three four waves per second so four hertz this is about um three four seconds two seconds after starting in the left side in the right side of temporal region two seconds later starts again a slow wave and spikes and another two seconds after the beginning there's a synchron synchronization before uh, between the right and the left side of the brain you can see that's burst from the temporal region in the both sides of the brain parietal region again you can see a very big high amplitude spikes and wave in the left and the right side of the brain parietal instead uh, there is a sharp waves in central region this there uh, can uh, distribute in the other regions the next page so you can see that uh, the amplitude and the frequency of the sharp waves are increased. The sharp waves are increased in the other leads. You can see in the frontal and central regions, there is a multiply spikes and waves discharges. So this is the muscle artifact uh, from the squeeze of the hands. There is uh, the beginning of the clinical seizure. Again, the next page we have, so you can see the name of the child, Victoria. So the next page, there is completing the more height, amplitude and swallowing sharp waves and uh, in temporal and parietal regions. 
there is increasing in the spikes and sharp waves and spikes complexes in the other regions. There is the next page. Again, very small, small waves. So, there is the real clinical seizure beginning. The child squeeze her hands and see what's happened in temporal region, synchronous. Uh, central region, parietal region, there's a sharp waves in the whole regions. The next page. There's, you can see that's the generalization of the whole field in the recordings, which beginnings there are, uh, starts to chronic seizures in that page. Again, sharp and soft wave complexes in temporal region and parietal region and multi spikes in the other regions. Next page, the same picture. This is so, this is the whole seizure. You can see the clear sharp waves one two three four four spike and wave per second and this is the end of the clinical seizure after the end of the clinical seizure we see can uh, in temporal region in the right and in the left side of the brain it's still we have a slow and spike wave discharges uh, almost uh, we have and uh, bursts of uh, multi spikes and the other leads this is completely normal to uh, to, to have uh, some Establishing of the EG picture. You can see that here the amplitude have begin to gain as normal as normal. Another slow waves. And the picture is normalized in three minutes after the beginning of electrographic seizure. The clinical seizure uh, is um, almost a minute, but electrographic seizure is uh, around uh, three minutes so you can see that the picture here have normalized the amplitude and the sharp waves are decreased and we have a normal picture of the EG so that is that is an EG Uh, during a seizure, no, there is a that EG, uh, video EG is uh, upload uh, in the channel and you can see it. It's uh, called uh, complex, complex partial seizures. Uh, 